Welcome back. Let's talk about LED chip types now. As with all technology developments, uh, and we've seen some simple LED products being designed from the earlier, uh, earlier years to where, where we are today. From the earlier, what we call dip packages, many of us would be aware. Now, we'll put up on screen a few of them as we speak. Now, dip, which is a dual inline package, uh, which I also have a fitting here, which this one has four in there. Very, very early in the piece and been around for quite some time. The, the main problem with your dips is they're good for a indication process, but they don't put the amount of same level of light out there that you can do with now a lot of the other different chip styles. They're probably commonly used now in a lot of those cheap torches uh, available in the marketplace. Um, so let's look into what else we can use and where certain chips maybe in different applications should be better. So DIP, dual inline package, they're the old LED styles uh, with a bulb on the end, as you can see by the picture. Quite often used in car alarms or smoke detectors just as a little flashing indicator to let you know that something's there. Next we refer to as SMD, which stands for Surface Mounted Diodes. Now, surface mounted diodes in this design is used in many applications such as strip lighting or LED strip lighting uh, to down lights. And some of the advantages of these are that they have a lower power consumption um, and also with a long lifespan, the small design allows them to be used in a cluster style uh, arrangement and that's more to get a, a more broader or a larger beam angle uh, and some of the downlights you'll see they often quite use SMD chips uh, mainly to get that beam angle spread and instead of having just one focused you can spread the light more evenly as well and again we show a picture up on the board uh, on your screen now and see the differences. Next one we have um, is COB, which stands for chip on board. Now, chip on board fittings are quite often placed directly onto a circuit board um, or a substrate. They usually have a thermal property which disperses heat uh, more quickly. There is no casing with COB, so the technology which enables a more denser LED array of light compared to an SMD. So, just to give you a, an idea is um, some of the earlier floodlights used the COB chip. Um, some of the earlier downlights also used the COB. Um, I'll go a little bit closer there. You'll see just the single chip there. That's a COB chip inside. Um, whereas the SMD, as you can see there, they've got a multitude of LED lights inside SMD. So COB as a chip on board, good as far as heat disbursement, not allowed disperses it, but for its application, um, you can normally see the size of the heat sinks, very quick to get rid of that heat. OLED, uh, organic light emitting diode. These are light emitting diode emitting panels. Um, they're made from an organic carbon based material. Um, that EML light, when electricity is applied to an OLED, it can be used to make things such as um, flexible, uh, transparent panels, and it can also be color tunable. Today, it's used commonly in devices like smartphones um, and also in high quality TVs, purely for its unique characteristics where the pricing um, it's still high at the moment, but watch out, it's going to come down lower. Um, but the advantages are things like your curved surfaces um, with your new phone, such as the Samsung S7, uh, the Edge, where it folds around the Edge to the new Samsung TVs, which have got your curved structure. Look out for it. Uh, the marketplace, it'll often get uh, cheaper and cheaper. It's more vibrant. 
Uh, and the, the other benefit of OLED also is it doesn't require a backlit uh, to actually supply from a source. So the old LCD screens used to have a, uh, a backlit panel to supply it. The OLED, you don't need that and don't require that. So more efficiency. So remember, efficacy, much higher. Okay, following on, we have MCOB. MCOB is the placement of a chip to be inside the optical cup directly. Now, we've got a picture to display that here, as you can see. It's not just one cup, but it's a multiple cups emitting the lighting that's just concentrate inside the chip. So in order to let more light emits out. So have a look at the picture there and you'll see where you've got the difference between a COB package and an MCOB package. Whereas the MCOB is into a cup style, whereas the COB package, um, you've still got your, uh, your, your top surface there. Then comes to DCOB which is referred to as driver on COB module. Now these are powered directly by AC power uh, into the COB. And you can see a picture we've got here, uh, this module. Uh, I've got one here and as you can see the LED module is mounted on the same substrate uh, as the uh, integrated driver and as you can see a close up there so that enables you to have a driver on board uh, in the whole fitting itself.